What is going on guys? Thanks for joining me today. Another episode of Mind Muscle Meditation. So today what I'm going to show you is a highly anabolic sweet potato shake. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we have the ingredients. Let's go over them one by one. So first off, we've got the sweet potato. Eight ounces of sweet potato. Um, potatoes are one of the best carbohydrates that you can get. They're absolutely loaded with vitamins and minerals. And I especially like them because they're high in potassium, which combined with sodium is really gonna help build your muscle. It's going to be a, um, a low glycemic effect. It's a low glycemic carb, so it doesn't spike your insulin super high like sugar does. And it's also got other good uh, vitamins and minerals like magnesium and potassium, which support testosterone. So the next most important ingredients is gonna be here. We've got our Brussels sprouts. I like the petite Brussels sprouts. I buy them at Whole Foods. And then my frozen broccoli, which I get in bulk. I, I buy a ton of it at Costco. And so these obviously are gonna be loaded in vitamins and minerals. It's gonna help bring down that glycemic load even more. So the absorption is even slower to really uh, maximize the effects of insulin. And they fight estrogen. So cruciferous vegetables are absolutely crucial for bodybuilding. So the next staple is going to be the egg. Um, I use one egg because you get a little bit of fat, uh, that good nutrition in the yolk. Also, you're getting a little extra protein, six grams of protein with the egg. And really, what the eggs is one of the most anabolic um, protein sources for bodybuilding. So next we have the egg white. Now the reason I use the egg white is because I don't want the extra fat from the egg yolks. So this is a great company. I'm probably gonna go back to Costco and just get their egg whites because these are pasteurized, but they're not pasture raised or organic or anything. So um, if you guys know anything about this brand, let me know uh, about their quality. And then we have half a scoop of protein powder. This really helps with the taste. Uh, this one is the uh, Combat Protein Cookies and Cream. Tastes really, really good. And then we're gonna combine that with Penzi's Vietnamese Cinnamon. Vietnamese Cinnamon is the way to go. It is absolutely delicious. Now for supplements, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, EAAs. This is a bulk supplement, got this on Amazon. And that's uh, EAAs, essential amino acids. We're gonna combine one scoop of glutamine for five grams. And then I'm gonna throw in one scoop of acetyl L-carnitine for fat burning effect. Can't go wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure it up with the scale. Make sure that we've got eight ounces sweet potatoes. We've got our broccoli, everything measured. Uh, you wanna make sure you're doing that. And then we're going to mix it up in the Nutri Ninja. All right, here we go. So here's a quick synopsis of what we're doing. This is a recipe I've built in chronometer, and we have eight ounces of sweet potato, four ounces of egg whites, half a scoop of whey protein, 3.5 ounces of broccoli, three ounces of Brussels sprouts, and one egg. So one very important thing that I wanna tell you guys is when you're using your broccoli and your Brussels sprouts, make sure you're using the frozen Brussels sprouts, frozen broccoli it tastes way better. I definitely wouldn't be able to stomach regular broccoli or you know fresh Brussels sprouts. Uh, it would just taste terrible. With it being frozen, it really cuts down on the taste. You can barely taste it. And the shake is really overpowered by the cinnamon and the sweet potato. And also the frozen broccoli and the frozen Brussels sprouts actually preserve more nutrition and you can keep it in your freezer longer. And typically it's less expensive to buy that way. So here's the macros of the shake. As you can see, just under 40 grams of protein, just under 60 grams of carbs, 6.5 grams of fat, and it's 453 calories. Now you can adjust the calories as you need be with more or less protein, more or less carbs from the sweet potato. And here we go into the uh, micronutrition. As you can see, loaded with vitamins, especially A and C, lots of K, and then the minerals. 2.2 grams of zinc, magnesium 100 milligrams, and potassium 1,700 milligrams in this shake alone. And let's take a look at the um, leucine real quick. There's 2.1 grams, so absolutely loaded. So now you have your ingredients all ready to go in your little Nutri Ninja or Magic Bullet or whatever. And I like to fill up the water until it's about an inch from the top. And the reason I do this is so that I have room 
for the little prongs, which are right here. And the, the reason why it's important to leave yourself a little bit of room is when you're mixing this up, it will actually um, create some pressure and volumize the shake. So you wanna make sure that you open this over the sink and just go ahead and pour it into one of your shaker cups and you're good to go. Voila. So as you can see, if you guys have a um, uh, fitness lunchbox like I do, you can actually fit four of these shakes in. So it's super convenient. So the reason I love this shake is because it tastes so good. You have such good ingredients, anabolic muscle building ingredients, and it's easy to take with you and it tastes amazing. It's such an easy way to get your broccoli and cruciferous vegetables, especially since they're frozen. And, and I love it. I really enjoy this shake actually. And I think that you guys will too. So anyways, if you found value in this content, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more great information. Cheers.